Head down the canyon and cut them off. Did you see anything of young Kimball in town? Yeah, he's on one of his tantrums again. The old man wired the bank, cutting down on his lounge, on account of him gambling. Is he drinking? I left him flat in the saloon when he started to hunt and fight. Yeah? He said he could whip everybody in Arizona and half New Mexico. Yeah. Well, I hope some fella from the other half of New Mexico, just as fancy with his dukes as he is, ties into him. Sort of laces his moccasins for him. <laughs> I was... I wish the old man Kendall would come back from Chicago, kind of rock him back on his heels where he belongs. You know, Tex, if I... I'd be a quittin'. Get a move on you, boys, young Kimball, now. Red, come here. When did you get this new man? I put him on this morning. Well, how many times have I got to tell you that if there's any hiring or firing done around here, I'll do it. Not you. Hey, stranger. What's your name? Jones. Bill Jones. Where'd you drift from? New Mexico. Well, Jones, take Mertz down to the corral and unsaddle him. Unsaddle your own horse. I was hired here to punch cattle. Well, if you want to stay on here, you'll do as I say. I'm not unsaddling your horse. I think you better get something to eat, Snicker. Well, I think you better tend to your own business. I'm running this outfit. I'll bet you a month's pay I can trim you. You better do as your foreman says and get something to eat. You won't talk so foolish. Say, you can't talk to me like that. He's getting rocked on his heels now, ain't he? Well, he's out.
Wait a minute, Jones. You ain't quitting, because I'm asking you to stay. And while you're here, I'll give you extra pay to show me that right cross you slipped over on me. Let's forget about that. Guess I'll unsaddle my own horse. <laughs> Fred, Jones has got an extra month's pay coming to him. Peculiar cuss, isn't he? Young Kimball's all right. Just a plum fool, that's all. You like him when you learn to know him the way we do. Guess I'll stay on a bit. Looks like he met up with the other half of New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it took you a little bit too much territory. Mm -hmm. working for you, Kimball? No, Harrison. Are you sure of that? Are you trying to infer that I'm a liar? Your dad wouldn't like to hear you talk to me like that. Well, dad isn't here, and I'm running this outfit. I just got through telling you there's no new men here. see him before? No, never seen him. Ever see this fellow Red? No, not that I can remember. Looks like you've been in a fight again, Snicker. No, you tackled a new colt this afternoon. A little bit too rough for you, eh, Snicker? <laughs> well, I'll see you boys again. All right. Good night, Marshal. All right, good night, boys. Good night, Marshal. I'm minding to cut somebody's throat, and I don't have to mention any names.
know, Jim, when the marsh flashed that picture in the night, I just knew there was something wrong about that against you. I know you don't like to talk much, but how did it happen you got off the road and brought the law down on you? It's a long story, Snicker, but I owe you an explanation. My father was the Wells Fargo Express agent at Latham. A gambler there named Arnold got to be a great friend of Dad's. He talked my father into loaning him $5,000 of the Express Company's money for backing in a big game one night. He swore there was no risk, said he'd give it back in the morning. Well, that night, Arnold killed the dealer, got away with the winnings, and the express company's money, too. I came home to find Dad facing a long term in prison. I made him get across the border. Then the authorities ran me down, gave me a 20 year sentence for being an accomplice. Too much for mother. She died. I spent two years of hell in that prison. The only thing that made life bearable was the letters I got from a girl I was going to marry and her promise that she would wait for me no matter how long. Her name is Mary Jackson, Snicker. Her father opened a store in Gold Creek. And in one of her letters, she said she thought this gambler Arnold was there. I planned and made my escape. This marshal that was here tonight has been on my trail ever since. He won't let up till he gets me. I guess that explains everything, Snicker. Do you know what this gambler looks like? No. Just a general description, except he has a scar on his forehead. You see, I never met this man, because I wasn't home much. I ain't forgetting what you did for me tonight. And I got some business in Gold Creek. So I'm heading north in the morning. You might be needing some help, Jim. So I'm riding with you. No, Snicker. Get you into a heap of trouble. Your dad would feel mighty sorry about it. You don't know my dad. Why, he'd just cuss me out if I didn't help you. And besides, it's deader than hell around here. No, Snicker. Now, don't take to arguing with me, unless you want to start fighting again. I'm going with you if I have to trail you. Come on, let's go up to the house. I got a nice soft bed for you up there. Come on, Jim. Tell them until they camp for the night. Looks like we lost the marshal when he doubled back. 
about that. Let's keep riding. boys and see if we can't pick up the trail. We've got one chance, if we can make the railroad station and a train comes along. Stop it. You're getting on my blurbs. I'm sorry, old dear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, Claudia. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Yeah. And four hours ago, that blooming idiot in there said that the stage would be here in 15 minutes. Well, I hope she's right. What's that? That's very likely the king and queen arriving. Or probably three or four thousand wild Indians. Indians? You never can tell what's going to happen in this dreadful place. And to think that Smith and Smith, the greatest singing and dancing team in blooming America, in this godforsaken country, and all because I listened to you and the Cherry Sisters in Kansas City. Yeah. Blimey, I'd sooner be back in the army. But I, oh, I got you out of the tomato and egg circuit, didn't I, eh? Tomato and eggs, 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 eggs. I could take them any. All I've had to eat for 18 hours was a piece of rhubarb. Rhubarb? And here we are, stranded in this knife and gun city. What? Knife and gun city. Oh, don't be funny, don't be funny. Well, what do you want now? This uh, stage to Gold Creek, is it a uh, tri-weekly? What do you mean, tri-weekly? Well, it goes up one week and it tries to get back the next. <laughs> That's a pippy day, what, 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 what? <laughs> hey, listen to me, you fresh actors. If you don't like it around here, there's a train stops for water in ten minutes. And you can take it and go back to where you come from. I say, old thing, I'm not going to stay here. When this train comes in, I'm going back on it. I don't like the place. Yeah, but what are you going to say to the booking office? Oh, blast the booking office. You can't do it. Well, you, I'll let you do it. Oh, thanks very much. That's awfully good. We're craving some entertainment. 
And seeing you dudes are actors, show us some steps. I'm sorry, we're artists and we can't oblige. Well, maybe you'll change your mind. Oh, I say, this is an outrage. Start kicking. Come on, Claudian. That's enough. Thank you. We're trading clothes with you. Oh, I say you do that. No, really, you can't. You can't do that. Really, you... You can't. Give me that hat. Uh, right out. Here it is. Here it is. Here you are. And make it snappy. I say, you know, this, this is a yeah, belly yeah, outrage. You know, this is awful. You, you, you Come on, it. don't talk. You, you, you'll give them back to it, won't you? Looks like we lost him. Cover every inch of the ground and meet me at the railroad station. Get him on. We're in a hurry. All right, oh, we'll get him on. All right. How do you I possibly can? <laughs> I'll have my solicitor down on you for this. Dry up. You blighter. Get on that train and keep going if you know what's healthy for you. Oh, this is all. Better you go along with him. Come on. Here's your wallet. Thank oh, you. Get out. Well, they're on their way. How do I look? I'm sorry, I can't tell you, old fellow. You see, I'm an artist. Rapine, rapine, eh, what, old chubby? I'm looking for a couple of men. Do you see anybody around here? Why, yes. Two men just got on the train headed east. Oh, what did they look like? Well, uh, kind of short, stocky, cow hands, I reckon. Did you see anybody else around here? Yes, two actors in there waiting for the stage. Well, I'll take a look at them. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Marshal. Hi, hi, Archie. This new step is rather marvelous. I think so, Cloddy. I think so. It brings me consolation, Josie Do. Josie Do. I 
take great pleasure in introducing to you tonight Smith and Smith, direct from New York City. Concerned, I'd rather have faced some crowd out there. Oh. I'm going to find Mary. If I'm look for me at her father's store. Right old chappy. Right old. Mix around with that crowd a bit, Snicker. See if you can find out anything. Hold the card, gambler. I win! Keep your hands on the table, stranger. This is a square game. That language don't go here. You do win! This is a square game. Vamos a ver ahora. Does Mary Jackson live here? Jim! Mary.
Jimmy, I'm so happy to see you. But how did you get way out here? After I received your letter, I escaped. I thought I'd never get here, Mary. Harrison almost got me. I owe an awful lot to a friend I met. He came through with me. Jimmy, I'm so glad. <laughs> but how did you get those funny clothes? Marshall had us in a pocket at the railroad station. Our only chance was to make two actors change clothes with us. We're taking their place at the palace tonight, Mary. Why, Jimmy! The man that I think is on you has been a constant visitor here. I allowed him to make love to me, Jimmy, and made him think I liked him. One night I got him to tell me that he was once in Latham. I told him I used to live there and asked him if he knew any of my friends. I casually mentioned your father's name. I watched his face when I said that, Jimmy, and it didn't seem to affect him in the least. But when he told me that he didn't know your father, something told me he was lying. Here, Snicker. This is the friend I told you about, Mary. Oh. You should have been there, Mary. The way we're going over with that crowd, we've been in this business all our lives. Really? Say, did you see that red-haired gal flirting with me? I'm beginning to like this business. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to see the rest of the show, Mary? Oh, would you think it's all right for me to go out there? I think so. We'll go up in one of the boxes. No one will see you up there. All right. Come on, Snicker. I seated. Pardon me. Surely. You certainly look very lovely this evening. Speaking to all the challenge of 
Thank you. God. Huh? The sun is fast sinking in the west. Damien's head is upon the block. Lucullus, my faithful slave, bring forth me horse. Me horse, my horse. Would a jackass do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, come down here. <laughs> Say, don't you know that too much drink will destroy your eyesight? That's all right. I've seen everything. <laughs> See, you'd better go into your dance. Ah, you see the weak-minded, like the variety. proper place for you, Miss Mary. Oh, I'm quite all right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Houston. Come on back. I want to see you. You'll excuse me? Surely. Him. Don't you think we'd better go? All right. Yes, that girl puts on a great act, and the boys like her. You know, the miners will be in tomorrow night with plenty of gold. I can't understand why my draft didn't arrive on the stage today. It places me in a peculiar position. I've got to back their play tomorrow night. Isn't there some way that you could help me out? Well, uh, how much do you need? Five thousand would cover me. Five thousand? <laughs> well, I see. I haven't that much money. Of course you haven't. But you're the cashier in the bank? Yes, sir. But I can't take the bank's money. You're taking no chance. You know that the percentage is with the house. And uh, I'll pay you back tomorrow night right after the game. The miners, you know, are just easy money. You could use a little extra money, couldn't you? Why, yes, certainly. And I'll guarantee you no loss. Well, well, uh, if you think it's all right. Why, of course it's all right. All right. I'll go through with you. Thanks, Houston. <laughs> That's mighty fine of you. Let's have a drink.
Wire the sheriff and tell him that I'm headed for Gold Creek. All right, Marshal. the new act I was telling you about. Their stuff is terrible, and it interferes with the game. I've got to have something to entertain the people with. this and got away with my bankroll. Get the sheriff. I'm not so sure it was the actors. He'll keep him covered. And you fellas stay where you are. I'm only was in that game. I think you fellas know something about that. That's right. Sure enough. I think he knows more than anyone else. Sure. Shut up him out. Back up. Well, what are you going to do about it? Here comes the sheriff. Let him decide it. We don't need any sheriff. No, that's right. Come on. Look out. What happened here? Hold on, you. Wait a minute. Two actors got away with my bankroll. You can't say that, gambler. You look very funny. Say, I don't want you accusing anyone. Say, who turned off the lights? Someone working with him did. Just a moment. Just a moment. Yeah, you know. What is going to happen to me tomorrow morning, Stanton, if I can't return the funds to my own bank? The same thing that happened to my dad. Your money is safe, gentlemen, and I hope you enjoyed our little act. <laughs> Pretty dangerous acting, young man. You seem to be mighty worried, Mr. Houston, when the money was gone. That's because you listened to Stanton here and used the bank's money to back him in his game tonight. That's almost the way he tricked my father, John Curtis, two years ago in Latham. His real name is Arnold. He murdered the dealer and got away with the winning. Look out! <laughs> Pocket 
in Latham, Arnold. I finished my partner. Escaped with him. Dad is innocent. man I ever had to trail down. But it's worth it to listen to what Arnold said. Oh, you can't take him, Marshal. I'm sorry, Miss Mary, but I've got to take him back. That's the law. No, you don't, Harrison. My father's got a lot to say about the law in that country, and you won't get very far. So you're the young skin flint that was his partner. Your father's got a lot to say about this. Why, he's been looking all over creation for you. Let's go. Hold on. We've heard the story, Marshal. There's too many of us here for you to take that boy. Yeah. We're the law here, Marshal, and we've made the decision. Ain't that right, boy? <laughs> Just a minute, man. I'll take a chance with the law. Now that they know things, could I have a few words with Mary Marshall before we go? Yes, Jim. Marshal, you look like a nice fella. Will you have a little drink with me? <laughs> <laughs> Say, boys, I'm going to set him up. <laughs> oh, well, no, all right, all right. 